Go. Go. Well, go. Go where? I don't know. I thought we were already there. Go, go, go. Hello, Vincent. Hello, Flash. We're at Real Liberty Media. We're dorking today. Big time. Yeah. Pipes in hand, and it ain't 420 any fucking where, but we're doing it anyway because uh, we're dorks. Dorks, well, dorks don't follow rules. Yeah, but you, hey, you, we're everywhere though, right? You know what the dorks' number one rule is, right? Don't. There's no a, rules. That that's the only rule dorks hold. Is that written down somewhere? I spoke it. It doesn't matter. I speak for all the dorks. Well, it's been spoken and said and heard all across <laughs> the country. <laughs> Here and abroad. You hear abroad? I'm here and abroad. Hey Grimner, thanks a lot for all the back you know, backup and support you do for the radio podcast that I put out here. Don't Dude. think just because I can do it right now doesn't mean I've forgotten you. <laughs> you know? Cause what when you do it right and you don't need to, to call the, the big man in to fix it, the big guy goes, Hey, they don't like me no more. <laughs> Well, hey, here we are, uh, and we're everywhere, man. We're right here at RealLibertyMedia.com. We're at RLMRadio.xyz. You can find us on the, uh, uh, where's it at? Right there. Listen on internet radio. Listen on TuneIn. You can listen over to RLO. That's RealLiberty.org player. uh, uh, Freedoms Network. A speaker, I think, is playing live. Uh, It'll go to YouTube. But don't listen at YouTube. Tell YouTube to get bit and go to bit shoot. Yeah, we don't like YouTube. Oh, they're okay. Bung- yeah, but all all this show is just a break from the mundane. Yeah. Give them some, is- something to think about besides what they're used to thinking about. Because, so, you know, we're, we're, we're funny people sometimes, Benny. Not all the time, but sometimes we're funny. I should go to Twitter. I was in the middle of... Uh, be basing a, uh, a a patty, you know, the opposite of the poots. The poots, yeah. I remember that. You want to say hello to Grim and everybody else at the RealLibertyMedia.com chat, or are you just going to go on a wild rant? Wild rant. No. I love it. Hey, oh. Barman! We got oh. Beetle and Cowboy stop. Tech, Grimner, Moose Girl. Stop, stop. I got to stop oh. you back up to the very top. You, top? you didn't give. Yes, you have a very <laughs> unique. Uh, what what do you call that? Where you have like this phrase that belongs to you? The oh, the bots and, and the bodies of the yeah. reallibertymedia.com dot com chat. But it wouldn't be the same if you, you didn't were say in that. the mood today, so I just thought I'd go around to all that. <laughs> Bad call. Okay, I got I got corrected on the door table. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to stop you again then. <laughs> my top chat and the yeah. bots and body are a part of the chat. So. Okay, go ahead. Hello, dorks. Hello, bots and bodies. Barman and Beetle and Cowboy and Grimner and Moose Girl are among our administrators now currently logged in. And starting off at the top of below them will be DC back brackets, Asmo, Chalcedony, Gramsci in her garden. Ah, that's right. Everything She's working. Quite contrary. How does your garden grow? She was telling us about her garden last night, so yeah. Ah. Uh, it got wiped out. Mine's kind of slow too. There's the I B Doncy. That's the same uh, DC back brackets. Java Doctor too. Uh, he's got a new knee. There's Judge Dread, but hey. Ah, uh, smoke to I uh, smoke to that old moron anytime. If, if I see him pop up in here, I'm gonna tell him to come listen because you have things to say to him. No, There's my. <laughs> Wander Gander. <laughs> Have a wander, wandering on the wander. Uh, Kate, she's not plugged in. This the admin at the moment. There's Rob Works. That guy, I really, I've liked him all along, and and he's done nothing but uh, grow hugely and enormously in uh, the respect of my eyes. Thank you, Rob Works. Rome's and Vanna White. That's our bot. I told you so too. Benny. Ah. W or DKV Roger, uh, come in. That's the Morse code. Weather dork does wonderful things. Weather dork. Yeah, whether you're a dork or not. <laughs> weather. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll tell you the weather. Uh, Phantom. <laughs> There's dork cakes. Our, uh, yes, he's 
number one fan. He always comes to the dork table. Yes, thank you, D Dork Gates. And Siv. I'm not sure who this person is. Uh, I know this guy, Flash. Greetings. Flash, Flash, or Flash somebody. And Frumpy, Frumpy times three. Gromit, huh? Yeah, I know Gromit. Uh, JJ is nine. He's our uh, favorite Scotsman. Of course, everybody knows no good Scotsman ghost without listening to Real Liberty Media. Ain't that right? So, kiss moi, your prince, and pawn sauce, and a sock puppet, puppet. It was in, involved as well as somebody that is as small as the rest is the bots and bodies. What is your motto, W4DKV? My motto. That's his motto. What's the motto? He didn't finish that part yet. Oh, now he's got it. If it's working, don't bring it to anti. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going to say. Uh, that's <laughs> clever. Well, if it's working, you don't need to repair anything, do you? Dork. Don't be a dork, Vinny. Use your canoodle. Be intelligent. Do what you're expected to fucking do. <laughs> Whatever that is. Well, that shut you right up. So, seems I got a show all to myself today. <laughs> Not really. No? What? 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 I was done reading chat for a moment. Oh, yeah. You're in charge. So, Vinny isn't because Moose complained because I don't read the chat every time I do the shows. So uh, I I've, I've got you held hostage on you know the what? show and I'm forcing you at gunpoint okay. to keep up with the fucking chat or I'm going to put a bullet in your head. <laughs> well, it's an e bullet, but it's a bullet. I'll say bang and everything. You'll be all scared, cry. What do you think? Uh, maybe. What do you think of this world where uh, I've, I've talked about this many times is that we are so freaking angry at each other about shit that's not related to what we think it's related to. <laughs> there you go. Me and you have been through it in conversations on the uh, chat, things that we said on the radio, right? And yeah. taken out of context in a bad mood. Whoa, you can make shit out of stuff. So we did. But we got, you know, hey, look, look at this. We're we're not doing this right. So we fixed it. So I look at what we did. You know, you fall into the the social trap that's set so you'll fail. Because that's what society doesn't want you to grow. Society wants you to stagnate, to feed society. <laughs> it's paradox. You know, What's it's a paradox. The, I've had a Pair, pair well, okay, the, conce the concept of a, of a functioning social structure that everybody agrees with, and you're never going to, where are you ever going to find that? And that, so I took it a step further, and I thought of it as this, right? What do the rules matter as long as wherever you go, you're comfortable, you know, if if you're just being somewhere doesn't naturally conflict with everything, you'd feel it. You'd know you're out of place. Something's not right. But if if you're comfortable where you're, you know, where you are, doing what you're doing, that's that seems to be the goal that I recognize. Yeah, I'm pretty comfortable. If, um, I, I'm real comfortable here. I was talking to Chloe over in the other uh, chat channel over there. Mm. Yeah. It's all like we're talking dogs, and I said, I'll be glad when I can get me a pup to raise up, but it's not for me to do right now. I'm a, uh, but I'm real comfortable right here. If I didn't have to leave this mountain, I'd be all right with it, but I'm afraid the call's going to come back to me one day. Go back and stand as a witness to Judge Advocate, and I'm taking a little crap over here from uh, from who? On Mystic Warrior on Twitter. Mm. Yeah, yeah uh, I, I don't I don't pay much attention to that big stuff. All uh, that Twitter chatter I, and everybody wants to agree and be all you know a big group. What what the fuck? 
It seems to me the bigger the fucking group, the bigger the fucking wrong you are with your damn decisions. Damn. Look at the results, Vince. I mean, I'm not saying p there's anything wrong with people. I'm saying there's something wrong with the decisions that we allow to be made on our behalf, you know, by these fucking lying, thieving cunts that sit in seats of decision. Yeah. And then they get people to uh, uh, go along with the program. You know, it's all based on lies. And how talks about that often, you know, the stalking horse. Uh, the In the old days, this is where it comes from, the Indian with, you know, you see that movie, uh, Jeremiah Johnson, The Mountain Inn? Yeah, years ago. So the, yeah, he goes, uh, well, you know, the uh, antelope don't know how many feet a uh, horse has. You know, they, sh they duck down behind the horse and, and creep up uh, a stalking horse to uh, take out the next deal. So that's, that's what it is. It's in this uh, occupation that we're under. Well, we're okay. Well, then why does the, the normal guy suppose, you know, hmm, normal. There's that word again everybody despises, but we know what it fucking means. So I'm going to use it, and if you don't like it, don't listen. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I, I do not want to be told what words to use to identify my ideas. But if you disagree with them, that's cool. You know, I don't have a problem with you saying, hey, I don't agree with you. That's, that's your right. That's what we are alive to do. But... The truth is go, goes beyond all these words that we say. <laughs> the truth don't give a shit what you think. What the hell? Oh, shit. Mm. Uh, well, I'm, I'm over here doing this. I'm looking at this tweet. So what? Uh, what? What's up what's now, mister? now? Because I, uh, I logged out to have to go back in and see. So mm. now uh, Melissa Lauder. See, she's got some other handle out there, too, so she can watch whatever I post. But she has had me blocked on everything. So now yeah. what she's done is made her twit. Uh, her twit. She privatized her twit. Can you do that? I, I don't know, but it strikes me that if the, if the truth is whatever it is, it does. Oh, wait, it, it, but if it gets misrepresented, it, it does need defense. You need to protect it from the lying thieves that want to earn money. You know, or control commodities, control people, shit like that. That is not, a, in my opinion, I, I'm, a, I'm a living man, okay? And I don't like anybody to yell at me and, and uh, belittle me for any reason. I don't think I instigate it with people. So when it happens to me, I get really pissed. Ooh, it's not a good thing. But, uh... Mm, but it's such a cheap life now, you know. Words are cheap. Life is cheap. Who gives a fuck? It's a free-for-all. Do whatever you can live with. That's how I see I got, it. I think I've got two me's on the... On oh, you're somewhere. reading the you're reading the Twitter oh, while I'm talking to you. But. No, it, was, it has a red dot on the wire, so I went over there to see who said what. Yeah, yeah. But there, there's two... Uh, Two of me in here, it seems like. Oh, well, I'm also got my wife on it. <laughs> no, there's there's two uh, me's. There's like two yous. Two, like I have two accounts or something. You might. It says, oh. No, it says there's a one on a call. Hmm. Maybe you're yeah. just, it's your ego's just so, uh, getting big. I click, I click the other one, the uh, yeah. icon thing that is me, and yeah. uh, it's join call. So I guess I could. Be me twice all at once yeah hey you know what i've i've always wondered beyond all this logic and knowledge and information we've ever been given one question i've always had is what the fuck is a nazi because <laughs> right well wait 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 and, and i'm gonna i've got more to this so hold on a second and the reason is is because a couple of years back i was up at the grocery getting uh, cigarettes at the train station and this guy is cleaning the freaking uh, between the, the tiles of the parking lot with a brush, you know, a dustpan, picking up the shit that was in there. And I just couldn't help but uh, notice and pay attention that this guy is just because he feels like it. So I, I stood there and, and he says to me, he says, uh, I do this because I have a dog. 
and I walk my dog here, I don't want the glass on the ground. There you go. The dog off the grass, man. But you know that's without. Wait, wait. Well, no. Doing hair run and everything. Okay, man. you're being funny, but this is you know pavement with stones and mortar and whatnot, and crap gets in between the bricks. And it just struck me that and but the guy was a Nazi. This is the the part you didn't let me get to. So he's got ink all over his freaking neck, and he's a Nazi. He's got the Nazi do and the Nazi this. But we're both dog lovers. So I invited him to the house for a spliff and a coffee. <laughs> Introduced him to Circle. <laughs> and we sat here and had a great time, conversation. And, you know, he got to tell us his side of, of his uh, involvement in the Nazi thing. And it, the person involved sometimes tells you a different story than the newspaper. And I've been involved with people at, at that level. There you go. Where I spoke to him, you know, the, the newspaper said this about me, but no, 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 <laughs> I'm not like that. Look, I'm sitting in your house, so you get to you get to physically go, yeah. <laughs> well, these people do go a little out out of the way to make you look bad. Some people do, yeah, yeah but some yeah. people it's not hard to do either. Right. So what I learned that day specifically was the Nazi guy. It's a mentality, just like anarchism or uh, republicanism or democratism, what all these ism shit fucking things we play. Get it? It's the same fucking thing. It's just your version of it. So all I have to do to live in life is to not persecute the other guy for his fucking beliefs. Just live with whatever he believes. It's not hard to do. I don't really care. It's not connected to me it's his thing but while you're you're in in a situation within four walls the only things that really matter are that people are not violent that you're happy with the company that you're having and you're having a good conversation about something and there were all that political and religious and all this other nonsense it, it doesn't matter <laughs> not in re, not in real life it matters in society life society you know that that's a lot of constraints in that society some constraints are good right you want to restrain perhaps somebody from uh, uh, burglarizing your okay but what creates uh, what okay vince go to the source right what creates a mind of a person to do a thing like that in the first place it's not a positive result of a positive thing. It's a negative result of negative input. So what we got, and this is what people don't want to face or talk about, is we have a society that purposely breeds what we have, whatever you call it, however you look at it, that's what's done on purpose. Do as thou wilt society? Hmm? A do as thou wilt society? No, because of all the controls with school and religion and education, public this, public that, everything's controlled by the state. So you're, yeah, you're going to have, everybody. okay, well, this is the what happens when you do this to people. Right. We're, we're not designed to live like a bunch of uh, copies of each other because we're not. We're, we're different, but we're the same basic carbon-based life form. But we have individual taste, and over the years, they've taken that away from us as a group. Well, when when you uh, feed the bears, they're uh, they're not going to go out and forage for themselves, right? Well, okay, let's let me try to put it like this, All right? I am not a Trump supporter, but I didn't like Trump before he ran for office. I didn't like Trump before he was on TV. I didn't like Trump before he bailed out New York City, but like I know a lot about Trump and his family, so I have an upper hand, right? But if I show any uh, dislike for Trump, you know what it's always attributed to? What? Being a Democrat? I'm an idiot or a Democrat. And you know what I am? I might be an idiot. Okay, that that's a matter of personal interpretation, but I'm definitely not a fucking Democrat. I do not support either two sides of the same coin party. Are you lame? 
I mean, if people listen to what I say and read what I type and still come back and they do, they did it yesterday, come back and be with uh, I'm a this and I'm a that. I am against every fucking thing going on. All of it. Say, and everything. I'm, I'm for that. Support your fucking self, Charlie. <laughs> Drop this globalism, big business crap, and just survive, survive on your own. See how long you last. And see if there wasn't any uh, truth in these ideas and notions that come about from these uh, parties. Yeah. Then it would, uh, it wouldn't have any appeal. There would be no, nobody would be like, oh yeah, I, I don't want to, uh, you know, kill all the trees in the world. So. Oh, crying out loud. So wait, but you're, you're looking at a community of the majority of these idiots have been anti-cannabis for the entirety of my life okay now fortunately for me i don't know some fluke of life i was introduced to smoking at a relatively young age and surrounded by people that did it but weren't uh threats to society and shit like that they just were people that smoked pot so, because of that, I've always had the access to the smoke. And because of that, I've always had the freedom of choice. Moosey says the elusive they. So, she's the one who told you to read that. I'm reading it for you as per instruction from you. But yeah. it is not elusive. It is the ambiguous they. Yeah. They're, not, they're not elusive. They, they're not even... You don't the very top. You don't even know who they are, anyways. You well, only know the the billionaires and the yeah. And but the if you disagree, but Vince, 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 if you disagree with the concept of all this power and shit that that we all live under, like I do, then people laugh at you. So there you go. If you don't commit yourself to the game, <clears throat> there's something fucking wrong with a person that will not comply. Because I don't comply. I seriously, you know me, I, I play the, the fringe of the fringe of what's expected of me. And that's as far as I'm ever willing to go. Yeah, it's, uh, there's a contact, contractual agreement in, in friendships, right? Yes, uh, yes. There's, there's yeah. things you don't do, there's lines yeah. you don't cross. Yeah, and, and sometimes, I, sometimes well, my, you got to so, be reminded of how important something is to you. Yeah. as well you know it's a it's a two-way street this life and the words fuck if i've said it a hundred times or not the con the concept of communicating is how we're trapped in all these crappy fucking deals if if we relied on a better source of information and knowledge than we do we wouldn't be able to be suckered like we are <laughs> collectively we're a fucking idiot you know that, right? Right. Yeah, that's problem, reaction, solution. That's uh, uh, problems I mean, coming along. And, but I'm either. equal. I'm not. I'm not above anybody. I'm saying, as part of the group, being whatever the group is, I'm just as ignorant as the next fucking guy. I mean, I know better. What I'm saying is, I'm more willing to fight for uh, not going along with the flow than the next guy is. You know, and I do it in subversive ways. I'm not so. Hmm, Blatancy attracts a lot of unnecessary attention to something that's not real. So if you just don't do things in life, it doesn't fuel that insanity that makes that true. Do what sort of things? Hmm. Don't do. Oh, like I drove without a driver's license for, uh, geez, from 1987 to the present. And in that period of time, I got stopped for uh one time, two two times. And because uh, the, the ticket's only good in that area that, that it, the ticket was issued in. So if you don't go back to that particular area, there's no legal problem to ever come of it. Right? I left California two tickets. They, they yeah. actually yeah. took separate incidences they tried to give me. Right. But if you go back to California and they find a reason to talk to you or whatever, they can trap you right there and, and bring that old like, shit up. 1990 something. Yeah, right? if, if they can find it. But the point is, this is how, how, this is how wrong the system truly is. You know, they're, they're not fighting crime. They're forcing people to live up to expectation on paper. 
It's insane. We're being listened to in politics. Uh, wow. Politics is a... Oh, come on. It's a joke. Some- it's a fucking misdirection so that you don't pay attention to what's going on. If you you know if you really believe that the shit that they tell us is true, well then you deserve it. And name one thing that's good for us that these people have given us. Because I can I can name five things they they're trying to force on the public, and maybe they will and maybe they won't. But if they do and they're starting it now, five G's already out there. People are you know, the kids are getting ill. This is not surprise, people. This people were saying this from the beginning, before they installed the first fucking one. It's a weapons grade form of uh, microwave. It's dangerous to us. That's what we're being told by some people, right? True. Yeah, I you know, I listened to a Canadian guy say the same thing. Because I he was involved in a weapons grade program regarding in this microwave. And he says 5G is a weapons-grade uh, relative of it, whatever you call it. It's not good for us, but it doesn't penetrate lead paint. So somebody put it together that, hey, wasn't it the lead paint making little babies sick that they banned lead paint over? And maybe that wasn't just one more scam. <laughs> I've thought for a very long time that there was a little bit more to that. Um but I guess you know, get, get on the window sills and get, get, get uh, lead poisoning. But uh, I think there's more to it, certainly. Like what? Well, you can't uh, peer through a lead paint uh, wall, right? Okay, uh, where do you get lead paint I, now? You could make your own. You could uh, you could buy lead. You could uh, grind it up and mix it into. Uh, uh, your paint and paint it yourself if you wanted to. You could probably do the same with uh, some commercial paint like uh, who made that Valspar or Tanimic? Uh, I forget, but uh, um, it was I think it was a two or three part epoxy. But anyways, it had zinc in it. It was for that that job was a, a big uh, water project in uh, North Hollywood that uh, when I worked at North America Flat Buds on. And yeah, they had high standards of the. Uh, and I'm a, I'll tell you what I found out later on. They're, they had an outside inspector. I was an inspector. And they, uh, they gave him a suitcase full of money. Hmm. You know, that's how that works. Money talks. But, you yeah. Know, you know, and- I, I seen a link the other day about another guy that had designed and went through all the pro- programs to make it real about a converter to make a carburetor perform 100 miles to a gallon. And we know the technology exists. We know there's ways to beat gas. We, just by by preheating your your gas, because you don't burn the liquid, you burn the. All right, the, technical stuff just makes my my head swell. I'm just well, saying the point is, Vinny. Beyond all the technical stuff, is there are other answers to the gas problem, but every time somebody comes forward with a response to the question, they get. Uh, their information is bought up by the companies that run shit now, and they're removed. This guy's See, there's a lot dead. of things you can do for yourself, though. Uh, I mean, uh, let me explain a little bit. Oh, technical. yeah, yeah, okay. For, for uh, uh, an engine, you know, a motor's electric, and the engine's, you know, got all the uh, pistons and the fire com- combustion chambers, whether it be diesel or gasoline. Diesel works on the compression, uh, compresses the uh, diesel fuel, and it explodes from that. With a gasoline engine, it's uh, oxygen is mixed in the carburetor with the fuel, a liquid, and injected in down into the uh, cylinders where uh, the spark plug then ignites that that fuel mixture. Now, if you heat the uh, if you heat your gasoline uh, and bring it to a vapor before coming into that point, you're going to stretch it a whole lot farther. You have less waste, and you can look on the internet and find that plan that you could do it yourself very easily. <laughs> very easily. Thank you. Yeah, but you know what you can't do? You uh, can't eat a bowling ball, not in one setting. Mm. Is that all? Well, there's a lot of things you can't do, I guess. Yeah, but you ever hear people talk not that crazy? Well, it's like a slang, and we don't mean it. It's kind of like off the cuff, but you go, nothing's impossible. But 
when you say something like that to somebody else, they're kind of on your wavelength about nothing being something reasonable. Right. And the, right. And then you have the people that awesome. think it's a little just, outside of the reality of what we agree upon. Because there's groups within groups within groups. Water seeks its own level. There you go. I, I think the nothing's impossible thing mm. comes, if it was coming honestly from somebody, it would be to mean that, uh, well, I, actually, I, I don't know everything. So, you know, in, in the in the outside the realm of things that I do know, I guess it could be possible. Ah, see, but there you go. The realm of what we know. And then we're using this English crap to talk about it on that. Whatever. I was brought this up um, when I did the show the other night. You know, when you're only hearing my voice, you're the like the victim of my vibration. Or you're either for it or you're again it. You know that kind of mentality? Because you're responding to actually a vibration of something. But we hear it and we get taught this is what all this and that means. And I think they lie to us at levels about what all this crap we do means. And we take the information in and we process it wrong. And we miss the fucking point of what it really means. And shit happens. Because we're misinformed. Does that... Now, it's just an argument. But does that make a point to you or not? Well, a, a, an obvious point to me. But it's you know been planned and engineered for a very long time. Uh, we've reached a point in history where... Uh, the true spirit of mankind can no longer be contained. It's going to bust forth if, if, if it's not too late and uh, their evil plans be ambiguous, evasive. They yeah, but they are. you got to look at. There's two sides to this horrible nightmare that we're engaged in. All right, and you're when you're on the losing side of a shit stick, of course you're going to look at the other people as being fucking rotten blah 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 but what if what if those people think the same thing we think well you know actually everybody does think the same thing <clears throat> what okay but, but with from a, a certain perspective it's a skewed all of us have skewed perspective i know that uh, am i the king of not admitting my faults please i know that but what of course there's talking on the radio and there's life <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, because fuck, people get on my nerves in the world. <laughs> Why? Mary can sing that song pretty good. Mary's got a terrible singing voice too. What? Uh -huh. Yeah, shoot. Oh, it's like strangling. Oh, she was her. she was yeah. strangling her cat and claimed it was her singing. <laughs> she sang. Uh, you what? pissed me off. Well, was that song? Did she? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's just too bad Mary couldn't have made it today for the dork table. You two on the dork table makes my Saturday. <laughs> what can I tell you? Yeah, I got out in the little garden uh, early, and uh, Nick, and the yeah, garden is yeah. the gardens are not doing so well. I no. mean, they're they're wow. day, Ours but is... I only made small gardens, right? Tired yeah. gardens. Yeah, yeah. Cirque's growing stuff out there, and she's just, you know, uh, there's only a few plants. It's not like we have acres of plants or anything, just, uh, but they always yield fruit when she grows shit, and <laughs> bird seed or we do. Well, I got a lot of maters, but, uh, mater plants, but only uh, two tomatoes on. Um, it, let, let me, because I'm supposed to, this is my job assigned to me by you today, read the chat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> About water seeking its own level. Yeah. Rome says water doesn't seek, uh, seek to be level. It just reaches, uh, it just reacts to forces acting on it like it uh, conforms to any shape of a container you put it in. So the, the, the tides and they go up and down in the ocean. But uh, that, that is, so that's true in a way that, you know, there's forces affecting that. And it is the same as, um, who said it originally, but... Uh, <laughs> um, the the guy that did the 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 father almost of postmodernism and wrote the the lonesome yeah. dove. But I so, I got to tell you, Vince, this this is something that you probably never think about. Everything that you say 
everything will insult somebody. <laughs> Not everybody, but somebody. And somebody that you irritate, and you're good at this, is you irritate people like at the point of where they want to bring it to the attention of other people so they can be irritated with them. <laughs> Well, sometimes I do it on purpose. <laughs> but, you know, it's like smell my finger. Hey, does this smell <laughs> right to you? Well, uh -huh. get that fucking shit away from me. Are you nuts? You know what I do? <laughs> and I get people pretty regular. It's funny. I, I do rheumatoid arthritis. There's bumps that come along with that. So I've got one on my finger and it's great. I go, uh, <laughs> I see you. So feel that. Check the push on that. Then <laughs> I turn. The fart. The fart. <laughs> fart on demand. Wow. <laughs> that, that's some George Carlin humor right there, mister. But, hey, my pooch don't stink, sir. Uh, apparently, well, in a, you know, on the E world, Vinny, you could shit your pants and I wouldn't notice. Oh, you'd notice. No, <laughs> I would hear something, but don't here I wouldn't me. notice. No, the, the Danish sky would be clear, I'm sure. Because I really am in Denmark, by the way. This ain't yeah, a joke, or me and Vinny ain't playing a prank. No, I'm really living here. It's a really nice place. Just in case you didn't know. <laughs> it's really great. Where I live but, here. so, yeah, I was thinking, so is wherever I... You can walk out the front door naked like I can. Yep. Yeah, uh -huh. Well, I can go out the back door. It's my yard. I can do whatever I want back there. Who are they going to complain to? What are you looking over the fence for? Fuck off. That's the yeah. the Danish way. That's you, a trespass. Yeah, if you complain to the freaking state about somebody looking at, you know, I'm looking over this guy's fence and he's doing, well, then don't look over his fence. That's what they tell him. So you don't have that much of that shit here in the first place. People are pretty, just mind their fucking business. Now, I've told you this story before. Uh-oh, uh, I didn't do my, it. And my, uh, my sister, she, uh, she graduated medical school. She says to her mom, uh, to my mom, no, wait, that's a different story. Uh, so yeah, she graduates from medical school. And I say, Dana, now that you're a doctor and the look came over her face, like, oh, you're going to want some free doctor or a prescription or something. And it's like, uh, and <laughs> I just start to grin it. And I says, when I hold my arm like this, it hurts. What should I do? Uh, I said, Don't hold your arm like that. <laughs> oh, I know, uh, but it's true. I mean, how much of the stuff that is that we need to know is right in front of us, buried behind something else that's making it look like it's something different? Oh, we've, we've made contact. Well, you know what? I, I, I enjoy the shit out of uh, television, you know, but something about it irritates me. And it's usually the they're pitching the social um, hmm acceptabilities in society you know this is what you got to do to get along <laughs> and they're always pitching all this freaking shit that's just not good for you it's terrible bad 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 but the masses um there's a lot of people so they can destroy a lot of people on the way to, to helping them <laughs> you know there's there's people that are different than you or i or anybody else true and yeah it doesn't doesn't make them bad or wrong no no it's no a lot of people no. are guided like you're saying yeah. they're guided by a know, different thing it's right it uh pushes yeah. them into the position like the water like uh what Rome's was talking about there uh, uh leah satilli and, and and ryan haas the good people what they they want to save the world and they're out there campaigning made it their life's work and even to uh to you know, be journalists and uh, and report, but wh where does uh, where does this force come from? Because there is underlying factors that uh, on both sides that people are not aware of. Yeah, but we're inundated in so many traumatic problems that if you could solve one, it wouldn't change the balance of how many problems you have. Well, <laughs> so it. No, right? no, 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 no. It's it's the way you read the illusion. Don't let the illusion control you. It controls us in such subtle ways that we don't even know that that's what it's doing. 
It's terrible. Terrible, I said. Okay, well, just keep it keep it in mind, Vinny, that there's something that that in life, in our daily uh, survival, that is against us. And it causes problems and arguments and strife. So you can have, you know, you can feed the void and not deal with life. Well, we begin dying uh, even before we're born. Oh, uh, all right, Mister Philosophical, take it well, to I mean, another it's level. Not, not philosophical. I mean, yeah, it is just, very. We have a force upon us that uh, results in death in the end. Yeah, but we got freedom to look at this stuff however we please. And people are, no matter who they are, me included, I try to mention this, I've got my own indoctrination of my own. And I claim to be outside of the normal, average way people are. But I recognize the similarities. I'm not nuts. <laughs> so that tells me I've got my own personal indoctrination. It's just different than yours. It's not any better or any worse. So I tell people on the computer, I go, hey, my indoctrination will kick the shit out of your indoctrination any day. Because <laughs> to me, it's a joke. It's It represents everything that's fucking wrong with us. I'm going to copy and paste you. I'm going to post it now uh, in RLM and take it over where uh, to Hans, Judge Dredd is at. Ooh, Hansel, the Tonsil. Yeah, he, he wanted to know if I was on. Yeah. Why, he always asks the same silly questions. And then he says, alone, I hope. But, <laughs> not know that the door table is. Uh, <laughs> <Dork table. Yeah. laughs> You're rodeo, man. I know. It just, I'm just the, uh, it just goes the, uh, to show. It, the showman, the it, pony. Oh, and I will go get this word so yeah, that uh, yeah. it, is, it is in. Uh, uh, Danish. To ah, Danish. Yeah. Uh, I can't say it, so I'm not have to let this thing say it. Goila. Goila. There you go. Goila. Yeah. Goyla. Yeah. Yeah. And the O with a circle. I mean, with a line slash in it. I don't know what alphabet that is. Danish. Oh, well, they got know. three extra letters that we don't have in uh, English. But that. Uh, Translate into a showman, and not no uh, creepy carny showman hmm. like an American, but the oh. good ones like uh, Circle Nose. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a cool name. I was Vinny. Uh, oops, I can say it again over here. I was Vinny Goyla. Goyla. That doesn't sound the same, does it? This is in Bab Law, Bab dot Law, and the other one is on Google. Ew. Not, not Google. Oh, and in British English, it's a, a Monte Bank. Is hey, how, how do we break away from any of these monopolies that control us, that fuck us the hardest? How do you get away from them? Cause, Avoid where you may. Uh, yeah, but some of them have just got a grip. It's yeah. rooted, and, and it's on people I know. What do you, how do you, what do, you do? Well, you so, know... Hmm. Not many years ago, I was able to uh, live life on the lamb with an assumed name and uh, work and, uh, you know, make my way through life. But it mm. would uh, it would be much more difficult in today's time. And one day it will yeah. probably be. Impossible. Well, that's the point. It's that control the population like a bunch of sheep. Where's the freedom part come in? You know, if everything that you're doing is being, you know, monitored and allowed and regulated well, you're not free. That, that's the opposite of free. So, when I tell people just you know decorate your prison in a nice way so you're comfortable in it, I mean that because it's life. It it's not a good or a bad thing. It's just the way we've allowed this to get out of control as a collective. There's just not a lot of very, uh, very few people can think clearly through this shitstorm that we're collectively enduring yeah and according to the, the bab dot law a montebank is a person who deceives others especially in order to trick them out of their money a charlatan swindler charlatan confidence trickster 
uh, confident man, fraud, foster, foster, trickster, racketeer, hoaxer, uh, sharper, quack, rogue, villain, scoundrel, and there's more. But uh, that's not how uh, circle defined the word. <laughs> well, and I circle yeah. over these weenie heads. <laughs> well, so what was the difference? Um, well, I'm not, I'm not a bad barker. <laughs> bad barker. I was a hot dog barker. <laughs> I worked the, uh, I worked the fair before. No, I worked, uh, I worked the Lucky Dog Cart, St. Anne and Bourbon Street. I was even interviewed by the newspaper, uh, by the news people, channel, I think it was like Channel 4, <laughs> something like what, that. what they want to know? Uh, well, I was... Hot dog, sir. No, just how was business this year? It was like a public service kind of thing. They did, they just did it, and I, to... there was other hot dog vendors. They just stopped at my corner, and you know, we we were kind of all new to what to tell the news people if they stopped us, because hmm. it's part of the game. You know, I'd bark at people, "Hey, don't be a meanie. Get your girl a weenie." And they come over and buy hot dogs and give me a tip. Oh, it's fucking great. I tell them, hey, that'll be four fifty without a tip. And they give me a tip. <laughs> it was bro- uh, such a, uh, it was like, because uh, they're on their way somewhere and they're hungry, but they didn't really want to stop to get a meal. That take, could take an hour, hour and a half. So they see me on the street corner barking like an idiot. And they go, well, at least we won't be hungry. So we'll get this. Then they can go do whatever else they were going to do without interrupting it with a meal. Well, I guess I gave Hansel the uh, link to tune in, but I guess he's not. He's posting over here um, about Trump. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Whoever, Trump, Bush, Obama, Clinton. Yeah, it's all the same bullshit. Or me. What you- they're. Poor you. What happens to you besides nothing as a result of which idiot is sitting in the White House? I mean, are, is there some part of your life that's changed? <laughs> because Obama's not in there, now Trump's in there. So your personal life is different because of that change. Let me know what it is, please. Please, please, tell me, tell me. Well, <laughs> no, it's always changing. Just you don't, <laughs> it'll be better for you next time. <laughs> no, that's not what we I meant. Don't get a Democrat back in office, sir. You what? only have okay. Do you, you only have a minute. Do you prefer a particular party, Vince? Yeah, I like, the one, I like parties with alcohol and marijuana. Thanks. No, 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 no. I mean, a political party. Huh? Are, are you partial to the Democrats or are you partial to the Republicans? Which no, side? Neither. 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 How, how do we know this? How do I know that you're not sitting here talking to me on the radio, but right behind you is a big picture of Donald Trump on the wall? <laughs> how did you know that? I'm <laughs> psychic. <laughs> Psycho. But. But what you know what I mean? You can say anything you like. How do yeah. you, how do you convince somebody else that you're not telling them bullshit? Well, because I think that's that's where we've been led. After, Wait, but after a minute or two, that's where we've been led. Yeah. Though you're supposed to doubt everything you hear. That's how society has taught I us to behave. That, I, re- I honestly doubt that, sir. Really, I've got I, this wrong. I, <laughs> okay, school me, sir. School me. How do uh, I have it wrong? Go. Hey, I've got I've got in becoming from circle. Yeah. And it's going to Hello, be honey. Proper definition. Of, however you say it. Gwigler. <laughs> I see why yeah. you don't speak Danish. Oh, it's not easy, man. These people are special. And they know it too. So this is—I'm getting bit by something. Uh oh! Hey, stop biting Vinny, whatever you are. Ah, damn it! Aliens! Aliens! I caught him. Oh, I'm okay. cut him. I was cutting some weed up here. Oh! Ah, good thing I had scissors. You're dead, feller. Ouch! 
I, I came in and stripped my clothes off from, from uh, to get ready for radio because I always like to be naked when I do radio, of course. But <laughs> so, but he must have been. Why stuck. would there be any other way from Arkansas? I mean, there's people in the on the RLM chat that think he'd screw your cousin if she was in the room. <clears throat> now, me, I have my doubts. I don't think of you like that, Vincent. Thank you, sir. You welcome. So, sir says that uh, that it is a traveling artist who gets by with his trade, his act, a woodler. And there's uh, something, the den store, Donsky. She's provided a link. Let's take a look inside, shall we? Post it. Post away, sir. Yes, sir. I, Your post holiness. I, I will have to translate. You're in charge of freaking text tonight, buddy. Yes, sir. And be uh, responsible, uh, damn it, or I'll slap the snot out of you. Your wife is telling me to translate that. Wait a minute. How come it? Oh, it said translate. I'm going to have to close it and then read it. You will do as you are told, yes, white I'm, boy. Oops, wrong button. Hey, now you're on the wrong side of the coin, too. Now you're white. Ah, yep. Yeah, poor schmo. Yeah. Does it? Hey. Does it suck as bad to be white as the internet would entertain it, it does? I mean, it's all a big game. This whole thing is all fucking stupid I'm, to me. But I'm just saying, uh, now it's gone from this color, now it's that color. So you're getting played again by the, <laughs> the same people that started it. Just in case you didn't know. If all right, you, I've dropped it yeah. both chats. Hey, I'm pontificating about race and shit. And well, hey. You told me something and i was trying to do it. <laughs> oh so what I are you doing those links and then she yeah. says also it's french of <laughs> as well as yeah, I can. Who? <laughs> very other languages of course with uh, varying accents yeah was... have you seen the poverty report today oh lately no, I have. Have you? What traveling report? I didn't no, know there the was poverty. And poverty. poverty. Rob okay. works on the real liberty media dot com chat. So, uh, Circle did give this uh, showman and not a uh, yeah guy, whatever the, the the damn Brits jokes. Traveling entertainment and artist entertainer can. For, uh, ter oh, the term confers a number of different phenomena. That's a song, right? I well, have no idea. But I'm going to read it myself later. It's a cool word. Yeah. I'm going to like it for Facebook. How about that? I don't know. I You read the chat. It's not my problem. Back, back to chat. Yeah, go ahead. I think... Well, you're being. I think you're being punished, though. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why? Because what that way do? I don't have to do it. Oh, I don't mind. You sure? Yeah. Well, lead, I'm, follow, get I, out of the way. My, uh, oh, okay. Well, I still look at it as 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 a punishment. <laughs> Just yeah. so that you know, so someday, someday you'll be sitting in a rocking chair and you'll go, "Wow, that prick." <laughs> That's what he was talking about. <laughs> you're being punished by Moose Girl. No, me no. Miss 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 Girl, do not punish. The flesh. I was listening to you last night, Miss yeah. Girl. Oh the, yeah. The show shows continue to play away on uh, the internet RLM. Yeah, they yeah. did the Freakers Ball. Yeah, no, I caught mean, up to today. <laughs> uh, Freakers Ball. The world and is on fire, Vin. Roots, and he was going on about me not. Uh, paying attention to the radio show and Kramer was talking about Roger Roots and that's what I was adding to that. But the world is on fire, Vinny. It is. Yep. Where? Everywhere. Look <laughs> under your chair, mister. Are you blind? <laughs> a and as yeah. long as, hey look, as long as you believe the world's on fire, you know what the world is? It's on fire. There you go. Uh, they, could you imagine if they had a world full of people that believed the world was okay? <laughs> what? What's wrong with you? Are you stupid? <laughs> That's what they would say. So you have Wait, to I, go. I, hey, I, I'm pontificating, damn it. Are you so, stupid? 
you have to go along with the, the you know the group think and the group think right now is everything sucks so if you said everything doesn't suck you'd sound like a moron <laughs> because outside life is so nasty right now it's it's hard to look at it with a smile it was a past cast miss girl it was a previous what? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. wait a minute. I'm it's talking to you and you're talking the, to Moose Girl. Yeah, it was at, I'm, you, I'm doing what you told me to do. Okay. It was after Balls to the Walls. Didn't Last it? night. No, it, it was. I stayed up uh, to the wee hours of the morning and then uh, took me a nap and got back up early and went to work outside. She was on Vinny. Er, Earth, a, Earth to Vinny. It was Mo a past cast. Earth. Oh, oh, okay. That's yes. Pot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that yes, explains I, it. I listened to the uh, balls to the walls. Uh, I was late getting back because I'd gone off down the road and had a, a late night supper. Yeah, yeah. late night supper. Mm -hmm. Chomp chomp. Yeah. Did you have Sorry. chitlins and grits? No, fajitas. That's, that's not very southern of you. What kind of redneck are you having fajitas? You should be having chitlins and grits and you know like a uh, pig knuckles and shit like that. A crack. I was not on crack. Living the fucking life out there in rural land. But no, you're having damn Chinese takeout. No. What's wrong Fajita. with you? Fajita. Or Mexican takeout. Okay, I was close. Well, was my my no? buddy. <laughs> was really good. <laughs> no, see, not like you never have takeout, <laughs> you dummy. I eat like a fat. <laughs> yeah, I go to a buffet in the we fat got man. Him going. Yeah. Mm. If like that's like okay, cook, well, likes uh, likes yeah for yeah. people to eat cooking, and I'm like, yeah, I'm good with that. So, have you got your war helmet on, Vinny? No, sir. Are you waving your American flag? No, I I've got a, uh, and see, this is bad because now it's been made bad. But yeah, I have my little uh, uh, Gaston flag. Some folks from. Uh, yeah. UCY TV will remember Hopper up in Montana, and uh, those of there were those <clears throat> kind of like some of us here at Real Liberty Media, yeah, uh, kind of pass things around, yeah. uh, you know, send things to people and stuff like you guys have done to me. And yeah. but anyway, yeah. so he sent me this uh, Gaston flag, a little one. And I have it. Uh, yeah, but you know what I think is going to happen. Well, they say say I'm a uh, what do they call that a sovereign citizen or something for having a flag, right? <laughs> if I had American flag, they'd probably be calling me a nationalist. I've got a little American flag pin thing up there. Huh? I'm looking at it. Yeah, I, I, I. yeah but cool? you're going to go to war with Iran. Do you know why you're going to go to war, war with Iran? Years in advance, and you don't plan for things and then not do them. Right. But who is who's your who's your daddy in this deal? That's a big old daddy Donald. No, it's it's Jews, it's his. Israel's man. No, 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 no. That's yeah, not you're fighting Donald Israel's. Like it's, it's, uh, Zionist. it's not a okay. Yeah, because the Zionists it's use Jews it's as a front. Truth. Right, right. I understand that, but cannabis, marijuana. It's a truth. Ten people understand this, Vinny. It's so we're so isolated. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. I don't. I might not speak about it exactly like you do, but I get it. But you still, these people are identified as the Jews, Israel, blah, 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 blah. You can't fight that. So there's no way to introduce new ideas to um, old dogs. <laughs> old dogs don't get it. It's just the way it is. We're, we're is stuck that? in a perpetual loop of stupidity is what it is. Fire and hope. Well, what is, uh, how what difficult is, is it to w. sit? All right, wait, wait. Let me ask you a question or two. How difficult is it to sit down with somebody and have a verbal conversation about how irrational the whole thing is in the first place? Physical well, confrontation between groups of strangers because of some disagreement between the two guys sitting in the room together. So these other people are going to get violent and take it out on each other. On their behalf. <laughs> what a bunch of morons. The majority of people are not willing to do that. And then they've been told that uh, uh, you don't discuss politics and religion. Uh, uh, then everybody wants to pound their 
idea of their politic or their religion into you. I don't uh, know who these people are. I've met few of them. Well, the people that stand out in my electronic world life tonight, I would be like Sark, Grim, Mary, oh, big time Mary. Uh, sorry, I didn't think of Mary before Grim, but Grim's face is right here on the screen. <laughs> He's before Mary on it, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't want to be picking favorites. It's just, you know, what I saw first came to mind. Mm. Well, there's a lot of influence in my life, my personal life, which is from people I've met on the Internet because I listen right. to what they talk about. You know? I, I, have, I, too, have some of Grimm's outlooks on stuff. Not everything, but quite a bit of it, yeah. There's a lot of similarity, so I tend to lean towards that as a human life form. Yeah, stray away from somebody when they're negative. Yeah, uh, some people though, you have uh, connections that uh, you might you might uh, back away from, but you can't sometimes necessarily completely break some some uh, connection. Yeah, but ignorance is bliss. That's Moose just said it, and it is, because it's, it's not a good or a bad thing. It's just not being aware of what truly is, and maybe not even being av able to approach you to tell you there's something wrong with what you see. That's ignorance, where you're, you're happy in the shit you're in, and it doesn't matter. What are you going to do about it? Whoa, fuck yeah, it matters. Until you've been in chains, then you don't know what it's like, so... I think people, you know, like me and Vinny. Vinny's been to that side of the, the system deeper than I've ever been. But it's the same feeling. You, would you agree with that, Vinny? Kind of. Having, well, okay, having your freedom taken <laughs> from you, whether it's for a minute or whether it's for a year, is this, it feels, it feels, go okay, well, I think it feels the same. It's just if you go through it for a year, as anything else, like a child grows up through Christmas, the more you've seen, the further, you know, then it's not that big a deal. They're not as far away. The the more of something you see, the closer it is. More rep, repetition. Yeah. Well, you know, what I've, what I've seen, and, and I've been all over this country, and, and I've uh, been all over the world through the Internet. Yeah. Really, like me and you, you know, clean across the world there and, face-to-face uh, -face, right yeah yeah and i've met people no don't even short change america because there's people i met in america sorry about the harley uh yeah my neighbor leaving uh but uh i i met people in america that were from other countries that were visiting or had moved to america so the bit of dirt you're born on i i I just listen to the stories, you know. The people that are telling me the story are either friends of mine or acquaintances or something. There's some connection to them. But uh, the story is just a story. I'm not judging that person by the story they're telling. I worked in Mus uh, in uh, Glendale, yeah. Nevada, yeah. below Mesquite, Bunkerville, and all that, the way back when a uh, teenager. Yeah, pumping gas, and then also then I went into to cooking a graveyard shift later on. But anyways, there, uh, was a, that's a big interstate corridor. So people came from all of all of from all across the world and, and would pass through there. And I've always been like fascinated with people and cultures, and, uh, the different ideas and how people are in different parts of places. And <laughs> and in that, then I, I went to Southern California, and that was like. Oh man, I was in like heaven. There was all kinds of people everywhere, you know. Uh, and you didn't have to go far to find somebody different than yourself. Uh, I, it's just something I myself enjoy. This. That's what it's like here, and there's an underlying sameness. You know, there there's a comfortability that you can be in that words don't change it. And I think I've got that. I'm capable of being comfortable without other people comforting me. And I make it, you know, it's it's a just a comfortable thing. 
It's not a problem to be out in the world. I don't cause a friction wherever I go. I sometimes do, but uh, I uh, I don't in. Uh, you in look for it, like when you were when you challenge people about the Federal Reserve note because <laughs> you're <well>. mean. <laughs> Oh, I'm not doing it meanly. No. Oh, come on. Deep, 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 deep. It's a it's a move of a mean, mean person. Because you're no. taking advantage of somebody's ignorance about something that is so blatantly... See, it's we're lied to in system by omission, which makes that proving lying by omission even more insane. So then the person listening on does, wow, what the fuck? <laughs> but yeah... We have this monetary system and blah, 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 blah. But people don't really know all the details of it. They just know what they know. And that varies from person to person. I mean, if you was like being conned and a, and a stranger come up to you, like, dude, that ain't a real Rolex. Yeah. Would you yeah. somebody to tell you that? I mean, that you're not getting what you think you're getting. It, it would strike me as odd. Why would somebody do a thing like that in the first place? Now, me as a salesman, I don't have that uh, that ability to be openly fucking deceitful to sell you something. That that takes That's a gift I don't want to pursue. I like to at least believe what I'm buying and selling is and breaking laws and shit like that. You know, I have my limits with society. I don't want, I don't think that I'm so antisocial that I'm going to go out of my way to find ways to fuck with the system the way it operates. I just know how it truly operates. There you go. Can and you name, can you rattle off a bunch of cities real quick? About what? Well, give rattle me a, off, a topic. Off the, uh, that, uh, that song. Uh, cities. Yeah, it was, I've been everywhere, man. Oh. Oh, I can name cities from coast to coast, I guess. Oh yeah, right. Let, okay. Let's take. I'll say. I'll say one, and then we have to go to the neighboring state. Where? Okay. And then they, I was. Well, well yeah, but much. if you California? start. But yeah, but you can go north to through northern Cal. Let's go north, and then to the state, and then down. Okay, from California. Yeah. Then we'll go San Diego. Down. You start. Okay. Or I'll start. San Diego. Uh. <laughs> Portland. No, L.A. No, we got to go to. No, uh, you go to the next main uh, city, you bonehead. Oh, the next. No, okay. Yeah, all just right. go okay, state yeah. to state. Okay, you. Right. Yeah. You said San Diego. San I Diego. LA. Okay, L.A. San Francisco. Uh, weed. <laughs> it's not a big city, though. I, I'd go with Sacramento. Well, that's not State north. capital. Kind of, yeah, no, it is, it, too. It's north of. Well, right. No, it's. It's east of uh, it's east of Sac. Sac is east yeah. of San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah, uh, they're both on the same interstate. I I eighty. <laughs> I've been there, it's, so we're okay. I, it's we're been a long 80. time since I've been in America. Yeah. To eighty Sacramento okay. to go north on All right. I five. So okay, so then you go north. You're being in Oregon by now. So what's okay, what I'll start city? there. Frank River. Hmm. I'll make it easy for you. I'll start at the bottom. You can get any number of cities in between. So I can pick anything I want. Uh, Portland. <laughs> the biggest one yeah we'll go, but it's the furthest we'll north Tech, we'll go yeah. uh, salem eugene springfield area then we'll go. <laughs> you go to washington okay you go to washington uh tacoma now uh, that's north of seattle sir you went to the top okay right, so now, what now we've got to go okay. to, to uh uh Coeur d'Alene. that's in, in idaho, idaho. Yeah. yeah well we're already oh we skipped uh spokane from uh, washington yeah, yeah. i will it i can't okay. I was, land. Yeah. Boise. Yeah. And then we're going to jump back up uh, to Montana. And we're going oh, wow. to and Helena. And, yeah. Then we'll go down into uh, uh, North Dakota. Uh, Deadwood. I know that's south. Is Deadwood, <laughs> South Dakota? <laughs> I can't remember now. You know what? What? I, I'm blanking on in the Dakotas. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Bismarck. Uh, I, wait, uh, wait, wait. It's Bismarck, North Dakota. Okay. Is it not Bismarck, North Dakota? Yeah, Sioux City, South Dakota. But North was Bismarck, right? Yeah. So. yeah Sioux okay, City, South. Okay, then we go yeah. West Virginia below that or what? 
<laughs> oh, am I way off? Let's skip to Caribou, Maine. But you can't get there from here. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Where Talk are they? We're, we're lost on a map that doesn't exist. <laughs> Flash lost. Wrong. Yeah, but I've been, I, to a, I, I've been to a lot of places, okay, in life. But there's a lot of places I didn't get to see as well. I mean, way more places I didn't see than as there were that I did. And a lot of the places I did get to see were results of bad decisions I made doing things in life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me too. So yeah. I, I rolled with I rolled with it and ended up getting to go out and like sail in the Sea of Cortez. That was that was a result of a dumb decision I made when I was in England. <laughs> but I did it anyway because I like to live. You know what I mean? Some people are afraid to, to take a journey and go do something and see what the fuck happens. Well, now I'm a little older, so I'm not as free with that as I once was. Well, I was when I came here to Denmark <laughs> from where I was in Scotland. So, And then before that, where I was in North Carolina. But I was in L.A. before that. And, see, and then when you start naming countries and cities, people, they don't get it because they've not done it. <laughs> It's not a common, my life is not common, I would say. Because I don't meet a lot of peers in, in, in my travels. I, may, I imagine not. It's not like you're in a central point where tourists pass through from all parts of the world. Like No, no. I heard I had an American family here visiting last year that I ran yeah. into downtown. But they were from oh, yeah. Connecticut, yeah. Oh, it's refreshing to hear an American voice. You know, just to be uh, real, I mean, wasn't it wasn't a sad day in my life. It was kind of cool to, to see other Americans getting a chance to take a look at this little town I live in. Because so few people are going to, you know, overall in the scope of the world, so few people are ever going to see this little little place. So to run into somebody from where I'm from in the first place is like weird. And it's so rare. It doesn't happen often. My brother, uh, we talked sometimes yesterday, calling me in between patients. And, uh, oh, I lost. Uh, Rob says I lost. Yeah, I probably did. I'm, I'm dealing in memory. and I don't know. He's probably got his Google map open. <laughs> you want to keep going on the states and try no, to figure you, you, I'll well, tell you what. One city per state. But well, I was, was going to say is you name a city and I'll tell you the state you're in. And yeah. some because some states have multiple, you know, some states you can pick like Springfield and it can be in a couple of different states. Know what I mean? Missouri, about, uh, it could be in, in what, what? No, I, I, I'm going to pass on it. Oh, okay. No games. We're, we're, we're back to Dork and lost. I'm we're, sorry. We're dorking at the Dork table today on this Saturday, the 27th of July. You're welcome, Israel. Two zero one nine, and up. Yeah, we're all pal fucking Stinians. When are you guys gonna get it? It's just different layers of the uh, control. You know, if you're not, if you, we're so far from free. I mean, maybe in my mind I'm free. Okay, let's use that as as a point. But in my physical reality, how free is free? And it, how free would you want to be in the first place? I think there's uh. There's a connection to human life that goes beyond words. And we talk a lot of shit when we're talking that we don't really truly mean it. But, you know, we say it because we're invincible, <laughs> bulletproof. <laughs> and we're alive, baby. <laughs> look at look, look. <laughs> well, I have an ego. Come on. Don't you? Yeah. Well, yeah, but as fragile as we truly are, right? I don't. I don't need it to be stroked by anybody. I don't need anybody to feed it. I, okay. Know. Well, you feed yourself on the RLM enough for all of us, you big ego. I have hey, Yeah, but. You can't have fun. You know. <laughs> what is. If you're not a happy person. You know, some of the, some people that are well to do uh, that I know seem to be the most unhappiest people there are. I, I am. A, Bountifully rich in my pocket. <laughs> um, 
Listen, you know what you and I talk about a lot is frequency and the the, the vibrational frequency. Right? There's way more to it than I can yeah. explain. Yeah, I know that much. And and uh, things like serendipity. Uh, my brother and I, we were talking off and on yesterday uh, several times in between patients, and uh, we we was talking about many things. But one thing, uh, and, and I was trying to find this guy, but he's going to send me the music. But uh, one of my mom's old boyfriends in Vegas, uh, Bobby Mercero. Uh, uh, not not to be confused with Bobby Mercer, uh, but so his friend, uh, a friend of his, uh, comes in and uh, anyways, my brother recognized the name, and he had somehow remembered in that name to well, uh, old boyfriend of my mom's, um, and he goes, hey, do you know Bobby Mercer? These guys dead now, anyways, but uh, uh, and then they started talking and stories, and it's just like. You know, things come together, and sometimes it's not serendipity so much as uh, uh, when these connections come about. It's but what do you do at that point? Where where does that uh, interaction then proceed? Uh, because well, you can miss opportunities too. I mean, you you could have uh, um, been late. You know, taking uh, a left instead of a right. I mean, just as much as a a few seconds that uh, can end a life you know if you'd left uh, three minutes earlier you wouldn't have got hit by the bus or something you know? yeah well i told a story about that with my mom she did that stalled me uh at the door of the apartment just long enough and then if if uh i think if i had left a little earlier i might have got hit by the the truck that ran into the building Wow, yeah. Because that few seconds could have been the distance between where I, you know, where I was compared to where I would have been had she not stopped me. So, cool. yeah, but I mean, it, it it was so isolated and, and one specific because I'm not the type of person that one pays attention to shit like that. And the second thing is, so few people in my life that have ever done it have been correct <laughs> in their action. It, and there was no proof. There's no way to prove it except I know it happened. You never saw none of that. Me, I did. I lived through it. So, so if you see things like this happen time and time again. For and, all of us. Yes. Yeah, no, specifically for yourself. I mean, it, besides yeah. the, uh, what you could relate or uh, others could tell the same type of story. And you say, wow, that is that coincidence, you know? Or, or do we learn to recognize this and, and come in tune and, and be prepared? So instead of being like anything can happen, right? Well, you don't react properly. It's that force mm -hmm. that uh, was being talked about earlier, that moving force, right? It's part of it. It's part of the tides. You don't, you don't feel the, uh, the moon sucking up the water up and letting it back down. But right on there. another level, you do. Is that what you're saying? Physically, you don't feel it, but uh, yeah, mentally or emotionally. I think here, this is what, what drives us, <laughs> is, is this fucking emotional shit. I get sucked into it, too, just like everybody else. It's terrible. It's, uh, it plays on your memories and your senses in ways that... <laughs> It's life, you know, this modern day life we got. That's the Mandalay Bay effect? I, I don't know what kind of effect it is. It's just when uh, certain events take place, your indoctrination, whoever you are, me, you, yeah. you know, the, we, we go where we go. <laughs> it's, just, it's insane, the reality of the behavior. But when the behavior is happening, you can't control any of that. It's just happening. <laughs> like when, when a, me and Hans are arguing on the RLM feed. That's not real. It, it's no more real than anything else. It's just what's happening. And it, either it has your attention or it doesn't. So, hmm. See, that... that uh, how much of yourself are you willing to invest in? That's that? what I try yeah. to tell you. Is that's, be, that's, that's not even in the... Well, I mean, I guess it would fall a bit in it's, the same. Process. It's a matter of it's a matter of interpretation and words. See, the the cause is the cure, and the cure is the cause. It's a redundancy. It's a cycle. 
it yeah. doesn't there's it's a paradox there's really no cure for all the things that we love <laughs> the things that we love sometimes seem to be the most fucked up things there are but we love them <laughs> It's it's the nature of the the life that we've been learned to interpret, is what I'm saying. Well, there are certain situations, right? Being words. Where, where okay, Vinny, but where did like I, wait, Vinny? Wait, wait, wait. Where did my judgment in, uh, thing come from? Did I just wake up one day and I had judgment about everything I saw? I I think that my judgment side was developed by other people out of me through life influenced but yeah there you go ultimate, yeah yeah you, you ultimately decide for yourself do you are you unless sure you're, unless you're just you know a beaten person in submission that uh, you're well wait well, a minute my father my father taught me how to do the freaking uh, times tables at such an early age that i just got a vague memory of him teaching them to me but i always had great recall for the numbers because i had a matched in memory well there's a big difference we're talking you know one side to another here between uh behaviors learned behaviors and uh understanding and uh, well what is understanding is that just when you verbally agree with somebody are you understanding them vince or are you just agreeing with them to to be on their side <laughs> This is this is another scope as far as what we we're talking about in uh, coincidence or serendipity or the vibrational rate. You, you can, uh, um, in being contained in that direction, that force, especially you know, like considering water, put it in the container, like it was said in chat. Um, if you're contained or forced into it, and yeah, then there you will be. Yeah, and that's all you have. You'll yeah. only have that which was added into that container, that vessel with you. Yeah. If you are going outside of that scope, you're, you're, uh, even if it was only in your mind, even though you could still <laughs> see, yeah. even still be in prison, you could still go within that uh, the realm of uh, what's inside, and you have all these other senses and perceptions that uh, have been uh, dampered or manipulated, uh, manipulated. Yeah. You know, so, but it's like not. You were talking about long hair and that being like extra sensory. Uh, with long hair as opposed to being short hair like i keep right my- it, it yeah that's one way it's looked at at but what if they're incorrect but Who's see correct? there you go it's all a uh, life man it's all uh, it's all I'm a matter of what you're willing to believe it is makes it so in, and that which you step outside of and and seek to uh or tunicate if you will but become- vincent okay but vincent there are physical things that you can prove and disprove just by doing them. At, but then you got to start thinking you're doing it at such a small level, uh, physical level, that it may not register properly. <laughs> you know, like looking at a globe. If this isn't truly, uh, if the thing we're on is truly a globe, that explains the flat side of it because we're so little that well it's huge you're always going to see flat because you're small you're not visually in a spot to see a curve i've been up in a lot of airplanes in my life okay all right but i'm just saying possibly vince not not that i know anything i'm just saying well i'm just saying that this this is how the global mind would would see this i'm i'm admitting that i've got the ability i just don't care (laughs) I can look at the world and see it like that if I if I want to, but I don't give a flying fuck one way or the other. All I, if nobody <laughs> knew the world was round, yeah. and, but they had cities everywhere with uh, square blocks, uh, and you would like, okay, I need to go somewhere, so I'd go f- so far in a straight line, and then I'd take a left or a right and so forth and get to where I'm at. It would People then maybe just go to assume that the 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 uh, world was a, a cube well it must be cubic because we go like this and then we go to a building we got to go up to get to that top floor so we go to the edge of the earth and we want to get to the other side then we got to go down and back over uh, what i mean where would the mind go where does your mind go wonder 
on the winder. Does it? Hmm. Mine. Wow. I don't know where my mind goes. I think that's what other people are for, is to tell me where my mind went. Because I don't think I always see it the same way they do. Well, you know, you can you can go off uh, some obvious facts and, and you can uh, go to uh, su- supposing some things. That's a good thing, right? Question. Question everything. Well, what does that even mean? Question everything. That's kind of, I don't know. That's just as misdirecting okay. as don't and let's question go with this. anything. Uh, trust those that you might assume to trust, but verify. Uh. Well, no, because I think I'm starting to see that uh, people do what you think they're doing. Whether they're doing it or not, it's not not important. You know, whatever, whatever I see you doing, Vince, that's what you're doing. It doesn't matter what you're doing. It matters what I believe I saw you do. And you can... Use that in a mental or a visual, any possible way. But one size fits all in a sense, and that's the, that's the uh, that's what society has pushed on us that we're all the same, but we're all different. Well, what? <laughs> we either is or we ain't, but it ain't both ways. What is it? What do well, you what do you think it is? The big old pile of pokey mystery. We're all the same, and there ain't no fucking difference. That's what I think. The differences are in the language, the color, skin, shit, that like that. But that's not really all that much different. It's just different than the one I have, which doesn't change. We're still human-based carbon life forms. <laughs> so hmm. I don't know. You, you get a lot of ideas, and then people want to say that uh, everybody's going to assume that they're right in what they believe, or they believe something else entirely, right? Maybe Probably. they're right. Maybe we're all right. Maybe we're all wrong. Maybe we're the aliens. <laughs> beyond the scope of uh, measurable events. Here. How do you, okay, wh- and then what you use to measure your events is what? My senses. Ah, you're talking as an individual, not as a group. Because when you talk as a group, you know what you have? A group. Followers. A group. Followers. A groping Followers. Group, group of gropers. Followers. A group of groupers. See, you're going to argue with me about this through the whole show. No. Followers, you bonehead. If I was a leader and I wanted to lead people... And I seek finance and all that shit and pursued it to get a public office. Well, what would I be doing it for? Well, if you were a statesman, you'd be doing it for the good of your fellow. (laughs) Oh, you know what? I defy any of you out there in Radio Land right now to type in the congressman holding uh, a seat for your state. There you go. <laughs> I I wouldn't know if for, I'm the state I was in last. I wouldn't know who was holding the power of Congress right now. But at the time that I lived there, I don't think I cared. I don't remember knowing it, so I don't think I was concerned at that point at any real uh, level of interest about the government being one one way or another. Well, Are you free, familiar with that kind of mindset where it don't matter what it is, it's garbage? <laughs> and the, the feeds uh, that I uh, graze upon, yeah, they put all that crap up there, but you know, my eyes don't even. Yeah, but see, the generation that I came from, Vince, 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 Vinny, the generation that I came from was the end of the generation that. Uh, had Vietnam and hippies and shit like that. So when the, all that was coming to an end, I was about 10 years old. Yeah, you're just a few years older. Than, uh, I was, uh, it's not about the age so much as the, the time that 
the importance that those two time periods were critical in uh, in our social collectives. But they're, they're, it's in ways that people, they're not really clear on it. They, they know some of it, but not all of it. And then the people that need to know most of it don't know most of it. They know some of it. <laughs> and then there's people that know all of it that wish they didn't know any of it because it's really not good. Should we break down the word politician? Yeah, would you like to, sir? Sir Dork? <laughs> find this is a here. dork table. If you want to break a word down, how could I argue with that? <laughs> it's a dorky thing to do. So dork away, sir. Let's uh, let's look at the entomology of politicians. I suppose. It, I hope it's not good for the politicians. You know what I don't like, Vince? What? Politicians. You know why? Why? Because they think they know shit. What a pompous, what a pompous fucking person it would take to stand in front of a group of people and tell them, "Ah, vote for me. I know the answer," and then end it with a result like we have now. <laughs> you don't know shit, fucker. Stop talking. <laughs> Sit down while you can still walk. You've heard of Metropolis. Yeah, but I don't live in Metropolis. Well. Superman did. But yeah, the tallest building around here is a church. <laughs> and most of the people that live here don't use it. It's really, it's it's irony. Vince, it's the most unbelievable place you can ever live. They're going to build a big building. <laughs> no, they go up about three or four floors and that's it. That's it. Break it. Let's break in the politician. So a metropolis is yeah. two words. Petro. Ooh, Petro. But Paulus. Oh, Metro, not Petro. So Polis. Polis. Means city. Polis, yeah. So politician then. Yeah. Uh, from that system of government and society. And a politician is someone who works within that apparatus of the city. That's how uh, the word detective blog archive is uh, saying. Politician, oh. police. Well, It'd probably is, be a little more interesting to, to look further at. I, isn't I'll, that wonderful? It to look later and I'll just drop it in the chat I don't know Rob works is overdosing on crazy pills why that's what it says on the screen I thought you were reading the chat no I was getting this ah, thing. you're so slow I, gotta go. I just can't depend on you for anything Vince I'm so sad <laughs> yeah that looks like it might be interesting <laughs> I don't know I didn't open it <laughs> As is just giving you crap. Oh, this goes into oh. a humorous vein on yeah. the website. Yeah. Does it? Politicians and pol police. Well, uh, what, do you, all what do you think of the police? What do you mean? What you I never mean? went on your ride along with your sheriff, buddy. That's what I think. Talk to a mutual friend. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Talk you didn't, go, didn't do the ride along. Or may not. Sheriff Vinny on the streets of freaking, you know, Arky Town. What a fucking treat that would have been. You'd have been a, right. you'd have been on every YouTube channel in the world. <laughs> yeah, hard. Sure. When you know, some went wrong. <laughs> Wouldn't be uh, like a big exciting thing. Like here uh, <laughs> a while back uh, I wanna no. talk to uh, no. posted on uh, furry potato. Yeah. So he uh after repeated attacks on person and property, Furry educates a government contractor on the First Amendment. But anyways, he gets an apology in the end, but uh, doesn't get the camera replaced. Ouch. A re apology, though. Hey, that's, that's going to buy you a lot of camera. <laughs> Let's see how many things. How much got. camera can I get for an apology? <laughs> I say she. It's a he. He, uh, she. Actually, Don't she use it. those words anymore but, in America. Stop it. Yeah. Cease well, what, and assist. Be what you want to be. I don't You're care. You're being evil to somebody right now, Vinny. Yeah, All those know. people that don't recognize he and she are pissed now. Stop it. You're scaring them away. They won't come and listen to the show because of it. It's all your fault. <laughs> I bet you're the type of guy that checked the race boxes other and say <laughs> Oh, I, I had fun with paperwork when I was a teenager. Let's just say yeah. that. I used to apply for credit cards with 
other people's names. <laughs> I got rejected, but it was fun to write the things out. Get a response. You know, somebody had to pay to respond to that. <laughs> it was an abuse of power in a way as a young man. Because the system is broken. <laughs> it's always been broken. It'll always be broken. Don't don't ever expect a good result out of the system. You're not going to get it. <laughs> Do the best you can with what you have. But you're not working with good shit in the first place. Think of that, people. <laughs> you're working on second-rate electricity delivered to you that way on purpose so that when shit goes wrong, that's why it went wrong and you'll never know it. <laughs> The ultimate game, Vince. It's so much fun, man. Right? Well, vibration and frequency kind of explains all that. So I think that we've been kind of pushed to... We've had those ideas pushed away, not encouraged. And it's time to, hey, look at it. Pay attention. The truth is whatever the truth is to you. So that doesn't even matter. <laughs> whatever you believe, you go for that. And you can prove anything that you believe. That's the beauty of life. That's why this electronic world is so probably so appealing. Because everything is possible. And you prove it with the internet. Well. Yeah, we've outsmarted ourselves, Vincent. Oh. You know, people are brilliant. They'll tell you to. Just ask them. What? Now you're silent. What? What? What I say? Ah, help! Help! I scared Vinny. Ooh. What? I didn't want to. You didn't want to what? Oh, Beetle found his passwords. Good for him. I I don't have any passwords. I got a password. That way I don't forget it. <laughs> I've got what? ten email accounts and uh, I don't know how many different See, email. See, there you I go. Have have a master sheet but also has a have a system too wow see all the stuff you go through when when you don't have to because there's no such thing simply complicated yeah there's no such thing as privacy on the internet yeah are right. you crazy all you can do is hope that uh, you don't have enough for somebody to steal from yeah, you yeah there you go cuz set up by somebody. and the government claims it or a bank claims it anyway so federal reserve these people are devious. Oh, I paid it. Glad you paid attention to the fine print, Vincent. Yeah. So, you know, as long as there's a game to play, let us play. But the reality of it is it's not even necessary. We're, we've grown beyond this, and yet we still collectively do it. Uh, makes my tumor bleed. Does it hurt? Well, no. Not really. It's just a, ah, it's it's a Jewish kind of wine I've created, you know, as a way to explain my distress over a certain topic or situation. I say, well, that's, that makes my tumor bleed. You know, so that you'll get the idea that I'm discomfortable with that particular idea. I was being clever and you didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, I just explained it. Oh, ouch, slap. Okay, be that way. Okay. It's your fault anyway, Vinny. <clears throat> Quacks like a duck. It's everything is Vinny's fault. Just ask him, he'll tell you. My fault. You did it. And you did it first. Speaking of doing it first, what when are, when are you guys gonna go to war with uh, Iran? What what's holding you up? You know? Come on. Chop fun. chop. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be a big deal for the uh, the incredible beast that the military cop, uh, military industrial complex is. It? Yeah, they'll bomb them into the uh, glass parking lot. Probably. Yeah. Nothing that nobody yeah. can do. If America is coming for you, there's yeah. nothing you can do unless yeah. you want to bow down and submit, or else. Uh, wow. Okay. Let's hope. Let, hmm. Well. I don't want to see it come to war. I'm an anti-war kind of person. People call me names. They call me, you know what they call me, Vince? 
What? They call me a pussy. You know why? Here's why. Because I try to explain to them the dead part, you know, that dead part, that's permanent. And when you, you know, when you go so against something, you're willing to go to war for it, you be you need to be completely willing to give up living for it. And I've yet to, no, <laughs> not, not a government. No, 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 no. Got the wrong kid here. Bye. Next. You know, coincidentally here is that he was uh, over checking some other things. A new follower uh, followed back, went to go look at him. Uh, the Accelerant series. They say, uh, when you look at our flag, do you feel inspired or frightened? <laughs> yeah. Why? I was looking at some of their posts scroll through there. Listen, Mr. Accelerant Series, you need pro writing aid and the add-on extension, the uh, uh, parameter checker. You know. Isn't it uh, terrible? Hey, you know what? Moose doesn't. Hey, Benny, 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 Benny. Moose, does, Moose, doesn't, Moose doesn't want to go to war. She He's wrote it on the RLM chat. I'm reading it right now. Well, she's not going to. Don't know. include her in that. Uh, well, hey, wait. That means there's. Is that, Are you on the side of that? That's three of us that don't want to go to war. Hey, you know what? If we could get four, <laughs> yeah, we can send the other two out to other places to gather more victims. We're going to need larger numbers, sir. <laughs> yeah, but still, that's three, right? Well, then we can only vote to send one. Vote? You're no, our, no, no. It's not about You're not in America, so I'm voting for you. To do what? To be the envoy to war. Go to your Oh, closer. I wish. If, yeah, if only. Army. No. I, I don't have. Come on. Yeah, you would be say, I crawled, I walked, I ran. See, it's so much deeper than <laughs> all what we see. It's got more to do with the, the drug, uh, drug war money. Things like that. It's big business ties. It's way deeper than this crap that we know. This is that is really out of fashion right now. The big business ties they wear they wear the thin ties, power ties with killer colors and stuff. Mm. Yeah, is that good? Should be. I don't know. I don't have I don't have a very good outlook on the uh, the majorities in this life. The majorities and the minorities. Oh man, those idiots are even worse when you think of it. Have you tried rose-colored glasses? I've I've tried closing my fucking eyes, and you know what happens when I wake up? The idiots are still there. <laughs> they they don't go anywhere. They're still fucking there. Go, wait a minute. Well, you wait. Lock your door at night. When I close my eyes, they're gone. It, it's it's only when I open my eyes that Wait, I get to see see. them. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, Moose. Moose. And it could be your they, Who's just that? because I live in the U.S. <laughs> I can screw that. I include. Wait a minute. You got to understand. Just because something. I live here doesn't Whoa. mean I want to go to war. Slow Don't down. include me with Whoa. this they shit. I didn't write yeah. your name to nothing, so calm down. First off, <laughs> and second off, if you got to remember, every uh, every Western recognizing country is obligated to do this. They're going with you. Denmark's going. It's fucking idiots. I was pissed off about that. You think anybody heard me say that? No. But. I you got to be with the winning side in this thing. And the winning, winning side. Yeah, that's the way people are. And the winning side is go to war. <laughs> that's what they do every fucking yeah, time. I, I'm not on that side. I'm on no side. All right. Well, I am. I'm on the side just to because not I live here do anything. Doesn't any... mean I'm. I'm all for what they do. Hello. Did I lose you? No, I oh. just didn't say any of that, Moose. <laughs> I don't know why you took it you so personal. You did say it. Did though. I use your freaking yeah, name? They. Did I call you? you? All right, there you go. You there, said they. There and is just a... because I live here doesn't mean that I'm. Then I wasn't talking. That. They got nothing to do with you. Then you're assuming that I was speaking to somebody that's not you, dear. Oh, well, I didn't know that. Well, if you're not they, how could it possibly affect what you hear? You're... Because that's how you worded it, though. Well, that's how you take it. That's your business. That's what you said. Whoopie-doo. I'm talking to 
I just don't like I just okay. because I live here doesn't mean I'm on board with what the fucking government does or what, doesn't do. What are we gonna ever do to stop it? I don't know, man. There's a lot of things you can do. Like what? You just have to. It's in your mind. You can't go. You, you can't Freedom's do. It's in your fucking head. I know that, but you can't go anywhere. It's the only place it exists. Can't go anywhere but with the flow, no matter what you think or say or do. Not it, true. It's always that way. The flow will get you if you go against the flow. You're gonna get drowned. That's the nature of the fucking flow. That's why they call it the fucking flow. You've got to uh, resist the uh, negative pressures. Good luck. How long are you going to do that for? Right. Well, it's on you till the very end to do so. To are good you, luck. Are you too articulate? How? You got to be like a fucking dam. Well, you know, a dam in the river. Yeah, but see, the game. You got to have a bunch of people the to stand there in the river. The game that exists. Hold the fucking water back, dude. Right. The game. You, you create a dam. I can give you an example of that, Moosey. All right. It happened, it happened in uh, 2014 in Bunkerville, Nevada. Standing in the gap. You know where that came from? It matters how you stand. Lavoy Finnicum. And I met him. He come up and he says, oh, who are you? And I told him. And I said, uh, you see why dot TV? What matters worldwide? I guess I'd ask you what matters. And he says, it matters how you stand. There's one of them, them moments of connection that flow out from that point on yeah mm -hmm. did he say that had he ever said it before probably but i i it stuck i seen then that short time that we stood face to face that light switch that connection and and he was born then of that moment and became and ended who he was leah, right. leah Santilli is doing bundyville uh, podcast part two, the second series, and she's done a pretty good job of it. She's really evolved as a writer and, and gone. She's still got the uh, you know adding in there, but uh, um, she's a really went into being a, an investigative reporter. She spoke with the FBI. I tried to speak with them and they snubbed me, you know. In the, oh. in the yeah, but so I got kudos and respect for her, even though we're worlds apart and many other ideas, but yeah. Uh, Part of that pressure, you know, are you going to be part of the put applying that pressure? Or are you going to be the pressure read the pressure right. or the right. pressure? That's what I'm saying. Yes, so you are. All right. Cool. Hello. We can't have more than four seconds of silence, people. This is a radio show. Talking. <laughs> are you muted? <laughs> no. Okay. All righty. Anyway, I'm just, I don't like being thrown under the bus with all the rest of the motherfuckers. It's like, don't put, don't, just because I live here doesn't mean I'm on board with everything. You know, if you're up there in that, uh, that group in the gap, uh, there's going to be provocateurs in there and somebody oh, yeah. try to push somebody under that bus. Right. So that's what you got to watch, watch for. Yeah, that, you do. That you application. Know? whether it be a, a major force or a small one. And, yes, thank you, Chloe. Uh, she said nice, and it matters how you stand. It does. You're going to lay down or you're going to stand? Right. Move out of the way. You're going to resist. resist. You're going to fight for what's right. How much yes. you got in this world? Right. Do or, or not. Right. Don't make excuses and blame them on somebody else. Yep. Where's four, Flash go? Four seconds passed. <laughs> <laughs> I think he went for a haircut. Two. No, really, I don't think I don't think he's gonna get his haircut. I, I don't see that happening. He wants to desensitize himself. Oh. I want to be like Vinny. <laughs> You have to, uh, if you like me, you're gonna start by taking your pants off. What? No. Yeah. There's Make rules. Moosey, do you have your clothes on? You're gonna have to take your top off. See, there's always rules when you try to. Join I have no clothes on right now. Oh, awesome. <laughs> no, I do. I, I, I do have clothes. I, on. <laughs> ah, you big trickster! I fixed to go get you to turn your camera on. <laughs> Yes, we should all smoke beetle. 
all at the same time. Oh, I, sesh I, right now. I, I all right, did. Let's do it. I got, do it. I, got I, I got my new, my new uh, dab oh. pen. Let me yeah, into them dabs. Huh? Yeah. Where's my zip? I'll set it down. Here's one there dick. We go. Dicks. Much better. Fire in the hole. There I'm, we go. I'm, yeah, we'll all feel better if we, I think. You know. I'll tell you, it's provocateurs. Somebody needs Saturday. To, somebody needs to stand up and say, no, I ain't going to do that. But I don't get no, challenged. I don't, that's why I don't vote, and I don't. I, I participate in, quote, unquote, the system as much as I have to, but as little as possible. And it's not easy to do that. It's not easy to walk in with two different kinds of shoes on. You know what I'm saying? You got to walk with a moccasin on one foot and a goddamn... Boots on the other one. Go go boot. I, I'm, I'm putting you in a go go boot. <laughs> there you go. Go go that, boot on one foot and a moccasin on the other. And it's hard to walk that yeah. line. And they call That's it. why you have to know where you stand. You cannot waver in your convictions or your beliefs. What, if they, you do, you're nothing but a friggin'. You don't, you, you don't get it. Okay. I don't get it. You got to <laughs> challenge the, those beliefs all along the way. Right. It's, it's not easy. Out. Yeah, what, you what beliefs do I have that I need to challenge at this point? What are you telling me? That's Long up hair. to you. You have to decide. I don't you, have a problem yeah, with know. my beliefs. What? I don't have a problem with my personal beliefs. That's good. But That's I'm, what you should be. That's how you should be. But they got nothing to do with you. They're no, my I don't want them to. They don't have to have anything to do with me. Well, that's not what I'm saying. It's okay. a, it's an individual. It's up to the individual. Right. Well, I believe that too. But it, it's we're thrown in these groups. No, that's only if you want to be. People love it. They strive for it. They fight Fuck for people. it. People. Well, I I understand <laughs> that, but. Fuck those people that want to put you in a box or put you in a group or put a label on you. What's their fucking problem? I, there's a lot you know, of them. They have a problem. <laughs> uh, they're putting a label on you or judging you or blah, 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 blah. So, you know. I know. <laughs> you want to do a little experiment? Let's see if I can put you in a box and then uh, then you will not have to come out of that box. Oh, okay. What Depends box? on what the box is made of. I mean, come on now. <laughs> medical, the medical for Cardboard box or <laughs> Allegory. Yeah, we're not talking about no weird stuff, but like in the basement stuff. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. I don't know what's going on over there, but I have some concerns. Hmm. Okay. Let's let's do this. Let me try a couple of two or three questions and uh, see if I can put you in a box, and then then that would then force you to uh, come out. So it's a metaphorical box. Yes. 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 Okay. Oh. Me. All right. All right. <laughs> Me? And I don't know if it's going to work because you might not answer the way I suppose. Uh, <laughs> right. So you can yeah, There's the unpredictable uh, thing you, there. Do you believe in God? Not in the traditional sense of the question. Me too. That's <laughs> but the same. Way. See, oh, yes. Oh, that's how do you answer true. that? I'm, I'm not really sure how to answer that question. A creator I, outside of I, this. Yeah, I... I've got. I no, believe in a higher power. I believe in, that there is yeah, something, something a higher power. But, how, but I'm, I don't claim to be a member of any yeah, how organized you religion. It? I, I think you know, it's too big. Be a member of an unorganized religion? <laughs> sure. Uh, <laughs> no. Unorganized would be better than what we got now. No. I mean, ah, let's be real. Same thing. No. Um, what would you do? I I don't know. I just believe something. I don't even try to define it. I just know it's bigger than me, and don't. Right. I don't right. fuck with it. So got to know that there's. <sighs> Vinny, I brought this up on. I brought this up on my last show. Wait, wait, wait. You know that voice that's inside your head when there's nobody else around, that you can't even fucking hear, but you know it's you. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> and you know what I'm talking about. Don't give me no shit. We all have it. It's it's. It's the consciousness thing that gr that really is the core of what we are, the, what we get together for, is we all have this inner voice, <laughs> and it only talks to only us, and we're the only one that hear it, and it's not in hearing it in a sense of a voice, but we know it's there. 
not audible. So pure thought. Really, yeah. It's uh, not really you, yeah. It's, uh, it's define it. Define it how you like. A voice that uh, an unaudible voice that's uh, directing you to do or not to do. Uh, yeah, I guess something like that. But it's it's an internal, and it's individual. It could be a voice. It could be a f- way you feel about something. But there's always an extra something behind your brain going on on the outside. You know what I mean or not? Did I completely lose you with this? That, uh, would that just not be the synapse well, firing in your brain? Well, I, I take when I'm walking to the grocery store and, and I'm like, there's this bike path. I don't have to be all concerned about every you know thing around me. So I think my mind goes into you know certain areas where I would need a lot of consciousness otherwise, and I think of shit <laughs> like that. Well, there's this. Is it a voice or is it just that inner th- way that you understand what you're thinking while you're not speaking to other people? Is that a voice? Or how do you define it to somebody else? You know what I'm talking about, or am I just completely losing you? You know, you're just saying it in different words. Oh, okay. Right? All right. Is, right. Is, is, is you know a, what it is. All right. There it is. Is it a, is it a component of yourself? Or is it <laughs> it's, outside force? Is that <laughs> echoing uh, of what uh, the creation, the created thing I, that I you are? I don't know. <laughs> is it the echoing essence of the creator? See, how do we know? We we only know what we would were taught to believe, and somewhere in the first like four years or so, uh, the elders teach you what to believe, and whatever that is, you believe that to the end of your days. Well, and I was uh, particular. They never particularly told me what to believe, and when it came time to question it, they said, "Believe what you want." So it was always easy. There was never a question to me about any of this stuff. Books or no books. Okay, we're going to have enough time, but uh, mm. yeah, Rob Works did do... Uh, uh, hey, Rob Works. I did have to, in order to answer that question. Hey, that's a nice way to put it. Uh, as a person. In God, as a personality. He said. So, yeah, we, we don't have time. <clears throat> I don't have time to, to get you in that box, Moosey, but... Hmm. Darn it. I was looking forward to that. Too. Maybe Mr. next time. Mr. Right. Mr. Box. But I'm going to let you get on top of that box, though, as a soapbox. And you, my dear, I'll give you a minute to go get the schedule if need be. Hmm. But yeah. You, no, you yeah. go ahead and do the schedule. Yeah, uh-huh. you can do it. You're no. good at the schedule. Don't. I don't know the schedule that well. I mean, I know, I know, Friday. Like, I know I, I'm supposed to be on Fridays. But... I'm surprised to say go get well, the then box. we'll just not do the schedule I, today. I'm going to release you from the box then that I put you. Okay. Thank you, Vinny. You're welcome. Okay. So this Whoa, has... Jackson is loud today. Yeah, Jackson's going off. Yeah. Oh, See? He's alive. He wants you to do it, Moose. He's trying to tell you. <laughs> oh, some, some dog's walking by or something. I don't know. They, yeah. Jeez. So everything's all right. There's a dog walking down here. Don't worry about it. Everything's cool. <laughs> anyway, is that it? Hello? Are we, are we ready? What happened? I lost everybody all at one time. No, I. No, there you are. You okay. actually express yourself. No, I was just amused because usually Hannah. Yeah, that was another dog walking by our house. Ah. Well, now you're still barking. It's like they're gone now. That's what dogs do. The, I know. I, I know. I'm not mad at them. I'm yeah, just. It's not the point. Is this? Dog Where's the surprise? Doing what dog yeah, does. I know. Dog does. You and actually, you got to go out of your way to train them not to do it. Right. But, well, ah, that see, that's the part that rubs me about like about all this. What? That's the part I don't like about having a dog is you got to try to change them to be the way you right. want them. And yeah, I just deal yeah. with Hannah the way she is. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, and she's a good girl. She really yeah. is. Yeah. Just very protective. Okay, well, hmm. maybe there's a good reason for her to behave that way that will show itself later on in her life. Where right you now get, it's just go practice. Get, go get Hannah and you go get Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> That to do the schedule. Oh yeah, no, uh, yeah, they yeah, talk, they'll right? do the schedule. Okay, I'll do the freaking schedule. Maybe. I'll do. It. Yeah, Vinny'll do it. 
Yeah, we're coming up to the end. It is 12.59 in the Ozarkian time zone. And this has been the Dork Table every Saturday over here at uh, noon Eastern. Sunday, come along at a quarter to noon. Come early and listen to Grimner tune up the blues. And then we're going to play some trivia. Listen to blues for about three hours. You got fast fingers? Come and poke some buttons and clear your mind. That's at, uh, again, noon Eastern tomorrow, Sunday and every Sunday. Followed by Hal Anthony from behind the woodshed. Noon o'clock out on the Pacific side of the country. From behind the woodshed. Monday, we're back with Grim Leftovers. Oh, boy, it's so good. Delicious. Last time I almost puked, though. Spewed. I'm sorry. But spewed. Yeah, spewed some. Yes. Uh, Tuesday, Flash is in a perfect world in the middle of the nowhere, in the middle of the night. 2 a.m. in the Eastern time zone. Wednesday is Grammy Mary at 7 p.m. Blasting off. In a rocket chair. Here comes Flash again on Thursday with 20% off. Such a deal. 2 p.m. Eastern. Fridays. I be Ponder Gander and sometimes and sometimes I'm not. But when I do, it's at noon central right here at RollerBuddyMedia.com. And then Grammy's back at 7 p.m. for that another round. Attempt to get to the top in that rocket chair. Gas powered. 7 p.m. And there's Moose Girl. At 11 Eastern with Mr. Grim near the great and mighty right here in a mighty moose girl on the freakers ball. Unless she's gone and it'll be just all y'all and him with balls to the walls. Y'all's. That's right. Right here. Relibrymedia.com. Thanks for listening. Is that it, folks? Dip, 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 dip. Yep. That's all, folks.